I gotta push my record button. Sorry, guys. Door the Explorer, yes. Okay, so we're gonna go over to. SE6 on page 430. And we're going to look at SE6, which says Doors Fitness Center. They purchased a new step, step machine for $8,250. The apparatus is expected to last four years. So, how long is the useful life? Four years. Four years. And it has an estimated residual value of $750. So we're going to take our 8250 and we're going to take away the residual value of 750 and our um divided by the uh our 8000 our 8250 minus our 750 gives us a depreciable cost of 7,500, and we're going to divide that by four years. So each year, we're going to depreciate this asset by $1,875. So if I were to do this table like we just did before, that we just saw on the board, okay, we're going to have our, our cost, oops, our cost, our depreciation, our accumulated depreciation, and our book value, or carrying value, book value, carrying value, same thing, okay? Our cost is always going to be that 8250 but at the end of year one, we're going to have depreciated 8,000, or pardon me, 1,875. God bless you. Our accumulated depreciation is 1,875. Book value. Book value or carrying value are the same thing. Okay, book value or carrying value. So, the book value of my asset is going to be uh, $8,065. The next year, again, my cost is still the $8,250. My depreciation, $1,875. Now, my accumulated depreciation is going to be Three thousand seven hundred fifty. What's my book value going to be? What's my book value? Come on. Do the math. Do the math for me. How am I calculating it? How do I calculate my book value? Cost. Minus accumulated depreciation equals book value. So tell me what my book value is at the end of the second year. So this is year one, this is year two. I can guarantee there's a problem on the test at the final about this. Yeah. Um, so God, tell me. How much? How did you get four thousand three hundred fifty? What's my cost? Eight thousand two hundred fifty. What's my accumulated depreciation at this point? So what's my eight thousand two hundred fifty minus three thousand? Minus the 3750 I get 4500 Okay, 
So how did I get my accumulated depreciation? My accumulated depreciation is going to be 1875 plus the next year's depreciation. So this goes like this. Okay, the next year's depreciation, okay, equals, I should put this here. It's accumulated depreciation plus the next year's depreciation equals the, the, the accumulated depreciation for year two. So year three comes along. I've got $82.50. I'm still depreciating another $1,875. What does this equal to? Well, she didn't even know I'm here. I know you're here. You wouldn't if they didn't say, hey, Joyce, hey, Joyce. <laughs> ASAP. Oh, okay. You want to just take her then? Is she there? Yeah, she's right there. Right here. Baker, yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. I don't think it's bad though. Yeah, eighty two fifty minus eighteen seventy five. Oh my goodness. I I did the math wrong. Sorry about that. My bad. Oh all right, my bad. You guys, my bad. Eighty-two fifty <laughs> minus eighteen seventy-five, sixty-three seventy-five. Thank you very much, Emily. I did my math wrong. I must have put in one seventy one seventy-five instead of eighteen seventy-five. Thank you, Emily. Did you guys see my mistake? Emily corrected me. Sixty-three seventy-five minus the eight eighteen seventy-five. Shut up, shut up. Hey, Yeah, okay. All right, so now am I right, M? Okay, good. Thank you. Um, so now my 4,500, I'm going to do another year's worth of depreciation. 26, 25, and my accumulated depreciation is going to be 1875, yes? Or no? Fifty-six twenty-five. Is that what you get? Did you guys get fifty-six twenty-five? Yes. Okay. All right. And then the last year, because we're only depreciate, we're only depreciating this asset for four years. Okay. Again, another depreciation of eighteen seventy-five. And then. Oops. This equals 7500 And my book value goes down to 2625 minus 1875. 750. Right? Do I depreciate this asset anymore? No, I'm done. I don't depreciate this asset anymore. And now what do you see? This asset is going to stay on my books at $750. And what is that? $750? That's my residual or salvage value that I talked about back here at the beginning. So I never, I never depreciate it below my salvage value. Okay? So I'm done depreciating it after... Oh, poo. I'm done depreciating it after this after um, we've depreciated for the four years that we estimate its useful life to be. And it will stay on the books in perpetuity, indefinitely, okay? You like that word? Pretty good word, yeah? In perpetuity, okay, for that $750. It's a real word, I promise. Okay, all right? So that's how that works. What's my depreciation, what's my journal entry going to be for this, depreciation at the end of every year. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, what is it, what was this, there was a step machine. I'm gonna debit depreciation expense, depreciation expense, step machine, for how much? 1875 every year, and I'm gonna credit accumulated depreciation step machine for 1875 
if you're not writing this down, I would suggest you do 1875 every year. Okay, I, I that's what you're going to do. That same journal entry. If I were looking at um, the value, how I would look at this on the books, on my balance sheet, at the end of year three. So at the end of this year. So this is end of the year. End of year. End of year. End of year. So at the end of year three, how is this going to look on my balance sheet? You know, you guys have your balance sheets for your companies, and I made you break out the property, plants, and equipment. This is going to look like this on my balance sheet. It's going to look like the assets, step machine. At, what do I put it on my balance sheet at? What am I putting it on my balance sheet at? Market value or cost? Cost. Good. I'm going to put in my cost of $82.50. And I'm going to say less accumulated depreciation. And what's my accumulated depreciation at the end of year three? It's $56.25. So I'm going to have a net book value. Oops. Net book value of... 2625. That's how that's going to look on my balance sheet at the end of year three. So again, I, I would recommend you write this down. Okay? All right, so that's gonna, how it's going to look on your books. All right, let's move on to the production method.